Well, there are new and worsening concerns about the Amagon funeral home in the town of Tonawanda. This after thick black smoke could be seen yesterday coming from the smokestack of the funeral home, which has had a long history of environmental problems. Residents are concerned and elected officials are concerned and Channel 2's Jeff Preval reports on what we know now. In town of Tonawanda, officials held a press conference a short time ago. Both residents and officials say that the amount of smoke they saw coming through that smokestack is a lot more than they see on a usual basis. Now, here are those pictures taken by town of Tonawanda Councilwoman Shannon Patch. She says that she was on her way to conduct some town business yesterday around 11.30 a.m. and came across this cloud of smoke. Residents here say that there was soot on their homes and the town of Tonawanda supervisor Joe Eminger says on Facebook that he got a response from the DEC that large bodies were burned and that caused an overheating issue and resulted in discharge out of the smokestack. And what they told us was that the the unit overheated and, and when it, there is that high level of heat, that's when you're going to see the black smoke like that. Um, and so that's that was their explanation. There is deep skepticism from many residents about Amagon's operation. Over the years, Amagon has been forced to make upgrades. After a lengthy court battle with the state attorney general's office, this Amagon was able to get a permit to cremate in 2017. That permit, according to court documents, is good through 2022. Now, I have emailed a spokesperson with the State Department of Environmental Conservation. Uh, they would not confirm that narrative from town of Tonawana officials, but the DEC says that its investigation is still ongoing. The owner of Amagon tells us that tomorrow afternoon there will be an internal meeting to go over exactly what happened. In the town of Tonawana, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.